Today we're making pumpkin bread. Come on in, welcome to my home. It's a busy time of year. This can be really hectic and you want to make everything homemade and everything. And I'm going to tell you, you can, but you don't have to make everything exactly from scratch. All right, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I have pumpkin. This is not my normal roasted pumpkin. If you want to learn how to roast your own pumpkin, just click that eye in the sky. It'll show you how you can make, how you can roast your own pumpkin. This is from a can. Life got in the way. It's okay. Also, I have pumpkin pie spice. If you want to learn how to make your own pumpkin pie spice, just go ahead and click that eye in the sky. It'll teach you how to make pumpkin pie spice. This really is my pumpkin pie spice because when I make it, I make a lot of it because I know I'm going to use it. This is super easy recipe. Don't, don't stress out about this. You can do this. You can do this even weeks ahead and put it in the freezer. All right, so all the ingredients are listed down below. Remember, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell for notifications. That way you know when a new video comes out. Okay, I have my flour. Like I said, the ingredients are listed down below. To my flour, I'm going to add pumpkin pie spice. I'm also going to add my wonderful baking soda and mix this up. You do not have to use raw sugar. I'm letting you know this right away. I use raw sugar simply because I really like raw sugar. You can use whatever kind of sugar, white sugar, whatever kind you want. For the moment, we're going to set this aside. I'm going to take my sugar. I know it's a lot of sugar and my eggs. Pumpkin gets everywhere. I'm going to add my pumpkin. Make sure to scrape this. Now in a perfect world, I would have grown my own pumpkin. It would have been great. I don't live in that world right now. All right, I'm going to slowly add my oil. Once again, make sure to scrape. Then add my eighth of a teaspoon or a good healthy dash of sea salt. Okay, now on low, I'm going to add my flour mixture. Once that's mixed in, I will add my nuts. I'm using pecans, you can use walnuts, whatever you like. Here's the thing, I need this to go like kind of far. So, you can do this in one really big uh, pumpkin bread pan. It's just a loaf pan. I'm going to put this into my pan. You know, it looks like half is about right. Now I'm going to take this over to my preheated 350 degree oven and bake it for about 50 minutes to an hour. It just depends upon your day, all those sort of things. We'll put it in there, we'll bake it. Keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't brown too quickly on the top. If it does, cover it over with some uh, aluminum foil and that way you can keep it from browning too much. Our pumpkin bread took about an hour and 10 minutes to finally get done. Let me. <laughs> it cuts so well. Let me give this a nice little cut here. Look at that. That is so good. Let's break it open. All right, let's give this a taste. That is sweet and wonderful. It has that zingy taste of 
the pumpkin pie spice. This is a really, really good pumpkin bread. It was easy to make, didn't take that long. Just throw it into the oven and it's one of those things that it, it get some ice cream. You could even put like just plain butter on this and it would still be just as good. I think you're really going to like this. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. You can share this video so that that way we can grow our neighborhood. And I hope I get to see you again next time. And check out these videos that I picked out just for you.